My name is Shivanya. And I'm Masha. And we'll be your host for this evening. So let's talk about the play, shall we? Now it's a devised theatre production performed by the students of Methodist College that tells us about what the bloody hell goes on when that special friend enters our lives. Now this is directed by Pew V. Vijay Sundara of the Stages Theatre Group and devised through a series of interviews by our cast, both at school and among their family members. Now, we must mention Jayanthi Gurge for the assistance he provided us with the choreography and Kasu Lokwatha for the beautiful lighting today. First stage at the 33rd Annual Interschool Drama Competitions, organized by the Royal College Interact Club, the play won awards for Best Play, Best Original Script, and Laura Bastiens took home the award for Best Supporting Female Role. Now for a little heads up of today's events. The play will run for a period of 40 minutes. Then some of the cast members will take you through a process of interviews, and this will be followed by the panel discussion. Please keep in mind that flash photography or videography is not allowed. <coughs> However, if you do sneakily do it for the grand, despite my warning, <laughs> please do so discreetly, <laughs> without the flash. <laughs> One more thing. Um, right. Kindly keep your phone switched off or on silent. upon a time, there lived a girl named Sasha. She used to love doing things that every little girl loved to do. Read books, play with dolls, dress up, kick ass at martial arts, ride bicycles, code on her computer, Basically everything little girls her age loved to do.
Sasha's world had turned upside down. Why was she suddenly in the confines of her room? This was all so strange. She was determined. She knew she had to escape. This was all so confusing. Things were happening to her body that she didn't understand. And her family. Her family was acting, to put it rather mildly, absolutely loony. And she just couldn't seem to get rid of the strange things going on in her body all day. And all this pain. She knew she had to find answers, and so she went to the one place that always seemed to have answers. Sorry. I mean, thank you. Now, sir, turn now. What more work can I give you? Miss, no more, sir. I 
Second is sexual characteristics of females. These appear between the ages of 13 to 15 years. The pubic hair appears. Sasha thought school had answers, but it only confused her even further. So she thought she would turn to her friend. And so, Sasha took her friend's advice and made her way to meet the mysterious, seemingly all-knowing Akka. She would find more answers to her curious predicament. Why aren't you in your room? Uh, uh, 
this holy organization, you must swear a solemn oath. I am now a woman and I will shut up about it. Morning, I suppose I should enlighten you. Ah, one of those nasty ones. Anyway, I'll... Ah! out into this place, and in this place you'll find a vendor. The vendor. And from this vendor, you must procure the things. The things. The things of what things? What do you mean, what things? She just told you. Honey. I wish to ah. The things. I'll give you a tip. Look for the things. With the wings. Oh. With the wings that just Now, we'd usually have in supply for newbies like you, but we're all at the same time. Anyway, now, I know you must be so confused, but I assure you, this is a completely normal process. Once again, Sasha was on her way, this time in search of the place with the vendor who had the things with the wings. <laughs> Sasha felt that everything the Akka had said sounded rather cryptic and although everyone seemed to think the Akka had all the answers, Sasha was not too sure. She didn't seem a very credible source, she thought, until out there before her. Yes, it was the place. She edged her way closer. Yeah, 
words reverberated in Sasha's mind. The things, the wings, the rapping. Well, at least she seemed to have come to the right place. Baffled at the turn of events, her things wrapped up in a zillion newspapers, as if it were a ticking time bomb. Um, she walked on. She was disappointed that she still hadn't found all the answers she was looking for. All everyone seemed to give away were little bits and pieces of information. Why didn't anyone want to talk about this? Why was no one telling her? Why was everyone whispering and overreacting? Disappointed, tired and hungry not having found all the answers she was looking for. 
Sasha thought she'd keep going. As she walked home, she met so many different people. Some people were kind and considerate. Some were oblivious. Some ran away and some were disgusted. People had so many opinions, but nobody seemed to be able to help her understand what was happening. They didn't seem to want to understand themselves. She had almost given up hope until she heard a familiar voice. And so, finally, Sasha began to get the answers she had been looking for everywhere in the comfort of her own home. What you're going through right now is puberty. Everybody goes through it at some point in their life. But what's happening to you right now is menstruation. If nothing you should fear, hide, or be ashamed of, because every woman goes through it, this doesn't mean that you have to stop doing the things you do this every day before this. You can still ride your bike. You can still play with Mala and Nangi. And you can still do martial arts. Let's just say your ovaries are acting up a little bit. Finally, Sasha was beginning to see clearly. She could finally understand what was going on. Her mother explained the changes occurring in her body and the reason behind her mood swings. Her body was producing hormones that were telling her she could have babies. Her uterus lining was shedding because she hadn't conceived. This was so much information. Why did no one want to tell her this? <laughs>
because when your time comes, Akhi will help you out. And they all realize, looking around, that someone they loved went through periods. Friends, sisters, aunts, and of course, their mothers. They learned that periods were not a sign of impurity, but a sign of life. It's a sign of your existence, my existence, the existence of the entire human race. They couldn't share her pain, but they could make her feel good. With this knowledge, Sasha was comforted, and she lived happily ever after. Period. I don't think I properly introduced myself. Hi. See you next month, kids.